Well, forget about the masked man who is, I don't Andy. believe, Andy Shane. Andy. For just a moment, let's talk about the Shane. full card next Sunday, March Mayhem here in Toledo at St. Clement's Hall. No Brandon Andy Day Shane on it. Against B Benjamin Boone. I, I promise you, you will not see his face. I can assure you of that. Boone against Day, Circus of Pain against Warhorse, Queen Amanada for the women's title. She puts the belt on the line against the pretty little psycho, Shauna Reed. William Studd takes on Malice for the Midwest title. Five most wanted against history in the making. Now there's going to be a match that could steal the show. This card is so deep. Madman Fulton takes on three men as he continues his time uh, under the punishment. Goodness. Papa Dingo and Nate Madsen, Atlas Hightower, Kenny Urban, Palmer Cruz, and D-Ray 3000, Rick Baker, all next Sunday. Not a mention of Andy Shane since he is just did. still suspended. Well, you ought to know. You could unsuspend him, but you won't do it. After what he's done? After what he's doing now? After what he's going to do after this match coming up? How do you know? I, I, I promise you, you won't see Andy You will Shane. see it. You will see it. You'll know exactly who it is. Told you. Could have gone back and checked. Nonetheless, Circus of Pain against History in the making from the last event here in Toledo, February Fury. And watch at the end of the match to see what's got him to see so Andy Shane. discombobulated. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the Powerbomb Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Introducing first the challengers, weighing in at 410 pounds, Brian Douglas, Sless, history in the making. And their opponents, they are accompanied by Abdullah Farouk and Kevin. From the Gobi Desert, they are your Powerbomb Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Pedo the Killer Clown and Gankus the Circus of Pain. And here we go, one of the greatest tag team matches potentially that we've ever seen in Powerbomb Wrestling. History in the making, former champions, the fastest, highest flying young superstars in Powerbomb against the Killer Clowns. And what can you say about the Killer Clowns? They are absolutely indestructible. They've gone through every team that's faced them so far and almost literally decimated all of their opponents. There's Kevin and Abdullah Farouk lurking ominously at ringside. Serious, serious threats. Because you don't just face the clowns, you face all four men. Well, here's the thing too, if you think about this. It's one thing if the Circus of Pain are challengers. There's ways you can get out of the match alive. DQ, count out. Now that they're champions, oh! how do you get the belts off them? Good point. Well, history in the making is going to have to do exactly what they're doing. Hitting them from every direction, cut, catching them unawares, and getting them into predicaments that they're not expecting. If they can neutralize the power moves, the weight and size advantage, and keep up with moves like that, isolate one of the team members, they might have a chance. But they are not even a count of one win in. These two massive men, Genghis in the ring now with Brian Douglas. And now they've got him in enemy territory and that's exactly the worst place on earth. Right, and that was a mistake. And if you're going to win this match from the Circus of Pain, you can't make mistakes. And they're relentless now. Kevin cheering maniacally from the ringside, high-fiving Abdullah Farouk. You have to fight a highly disciplined match. Abdullah Farouk with his bank, his bank men. These are the men he's made so much money off of, especially now that they have the championship. Oh, backbreaker. Ryan Douglas right across the knee of Petto, the killer clown. 
Well, sure, he, he doesn't have to pay him. Throw, throw him some raw meat once in a while, but that's, that's about true. right. Keep all that money for himself. And Kevin, what can you say about him? They don't give him his medication. And he's there, he's a human, talk about human trafficking. <laughs> Brian Douglas though, game competitor that he is, he's gonna have to dig down deeper than he's ever dug before. If he and Sless are gonna have any chance against the Powerbomb Tag Team Champions. It was at December decadence that the Clowns came out victorious in the three-way tag team championship match. And from moves like this, Kevin, oh, dropped down onto Brian Douglas. It was Kevin the last time with Pedo, who actually won the match. Celeste breaks up the count, but the damage may have been done on Brian Douglas. Well, good thing he did, because it might have been over. Elbow drop on Douglas. Referee is there for the count. Two count. Two only. Brian Douglas showing a lot of grit and guts. Yeah, we might see his guts here pretty soon. I don't know how any two individuals could manage to face the clowns. I mean, it's just beyond me what it must take the intestinal fortitude. Because you're really taking your life in your hands. No, no, look at this. All three of them. Kevin doing his best Mo Howard impersonation from ringside with the eye poke. You have to have a sophisticated game plan and be impeccable in how you carry it out. Sophisticated and impeccable are two words I would not use in conjunction with the clowns. Oh no, I said to beat the clowns. Oh, to beat the clowns, yeah. Sorry about that. Brian Douglas over the top rope. Oh, he just caught in midair. It's not a big secret, the clowns game plan. Search and destroy. Yeah. Celeste Taylor hasn't been in the ring once legally. As Genghis tags off to Petto. Brian trying to get to the corner. Petto takes Celeste out, and here comes Celeste. And watch this, the referee now forced to deal with Celeste as the Clowns have the opportunity to, oh! Power slam by Petto, two count and almost three. And Douglas tossed out of the ring. He took a bad fall on the floor. And Petto's ready for Sless now. Genghis, meanwhile, along with the other two on the outside. The referee is trying to get Sless out of the ring. Meantime, though, Genghis Clown slamming Brian into the ring barrier. Well, Sullivan, you've been around the business a long time. I mean, you, you remember when Lou Fez had his first match, but anybody can be beaten on any given night. That's you know true. That. That's true. But it takes a lot to do it sometimes. And oh, no history question. in the making is going to need every bit of luck, skill, and good fortune that they can muster. Well, I can't believe Brian Douglas is still alive. I mean, there's gonna be nothing left of him shortly. Yeah, I don't know how he's ever gonna, I mean, this, they're just Gang decimating him. him. I think they're having oh, fun. Almost a tag. Yeah, the clowns are, they're, this is, they're in their element. This is what they live for, to destroy opponents. Look at Farouk strutting around like a peacock. 
you know, Genghis was injured, wasn't there at December Decadence, so, you know, maybe Abdullah Farouk is just, uh, you know, trying to get him a little more cardio. Get him back in a, could be, in a wrestling shape. Brian Douglas with a couple of back elbows, steadying Genghis. Oh, and he took his legs out from under him. See, he's got to work off the ring rest. Brian needs to make the tag now. Come on, Brian, get over there and make the tag. Well, unfortunately, Brian doesn't have very much left Well, at that's all. where he made a mistake. Instead of taking the run at Genghis, he should have went over and made a tag. That's Ryan Douglas say. trying to get to the corner. Let's see, he makes it. And here comes Sless. And Genghis is down. And there's one for, and now a double team. Brian Douglas can't have much left, but he had enough to take Petto out of it. And here he comes, suicide dive, takes Abdullah Farouk out. I gotta admit, I enjoyed that a little bit. He got Kevin too. Well, I kinda, I kinda enjoyed that too. Is it wrong for me to admit that? Nope, now wait, what do we got going on here? Palmer Cruz and Sean Reed are out at ringside. They've each grabbed a boot of history in the making. What's going on here? Talk about an unholy alliance. Oh, Sless, choke slam, and one for Brian Douglas. In for the count, double pin. You know, I abhor outside interference. And here here are your winners. And the mystery still, man again. How about the wrestling tag team champions, the Circus of Pain. Get him out of here.